Righto. Welcome back, guys. This one's going to be a little bit different. So we're starting off on land. We've got five pots. We're going to put five pots in up along this creek system here. And then uh, after that, we're going to race home, drop the kids off school, pick up Maddie, put the tinny on, go for a bit of a fish, come back, and we're going to check them. Along the way, it's going to be low tide, so we'll try and hook, see if we can grab a few crabs out of the holes as well. Now, Miss Woolworths yesterday, but that's okay. What we're going to use is tuna. Tuna and oil. See that? We're going to give it a go. I've never used it before. The other weekend, I used a little special recipe that a, a mate put me on to. But yeah, we're going to try on tuna and oil today. Five pots. Um, so yeah, come along for the ride, and uh, we'll see how we go. Cheers. All right. So basically what we want to do is grab our tuna tin. Tuna and oil, by the mind you. Grab it. Put it inside the pantyhose or the stocking that Matty's created here. Like that. Tie it up. Just like that. And then we're going to zip tie that in the pot. But before we throw it out, we're going to crack the lid. Now, the reason I'm putting it in here is because when you go to cable tie them in, it's a round tin. They slip out pretty easy. But, so that's the trick. From here, straight in the bottom of there, crack it. Hey, we can only try, see how it goes. Anyway, let's go. Bloody camera keeps playing up. Anyway, we're off to a flying strut. Straight up. Actually, got a little croc, little croc mark. It's his tail. And then I come down to the water, and there's a big splash through there. So guess what? I'm throwing my pot down there, right on top of him. It was an easy process, just punch through there for 50 metres. But finally, looks like I've made it out. Mind you, I'm in thongs. Finally, looks like I have punched it out to the creek. Whoa. Mate, that was an episode, I can tell you. Whoa. Whoa. This deserves a crab after that. Surely. Alrighty. All right, bait fish down here. Alright. So like I said earlier, got them tuna tins in there. All we do, crack the lid. Like that. Grab our float and rope out. Chuck our hook back on. And that is us. We'll throw it out. Come back and grab him on the um, couple of hours, in a couple of hours. Oh. So we'll chuck him down here. Hope for the best. Float in the tree, up there. And that's us. Good luck. All right, let's go do the other ones. Punch back through here now. Yay. Anyway, so I won't show you the rest. Obviously, you know. So I'm gonna put another, that's two pots out, gonna put another three out, and then head back on into town. And um, yeah, sort the kids out, get the tinny, get Maddie, and yeah, see you back out of here. Can't wait. Oh, quick little update, go to throw a pot out. Wouldn't believe it. There was a buck sitting right there Big fella, and he swam off. So I've put a pot down here. Guaranteed ya, I won't get him. But, good sign. It's a good sign, nevertheless. Anyway, keep going. All right, here's the last pot. Thought I'd show you for one last time. Crack our tin of, tin of toonie. Put him back on, get the rope set up. Yeah, how's seeing that crab back there, eh? A bit of luck he'll be in the pot, but we'll give him a go. Anyway, this is our fourth pot. I reckon we'll just go straight down there. Hope for, wish for good luck. Floating the tree. That's him. So, um, yeah, they'll probably be in the water for a good 
four hours before we get to check them. So, oh, today's only, it's neap, neap tides today. So I think the high is at, I think 2.3, 2.4, and it only goes down to 1.7. So it's not a real low. So there's bugger all movement. So we'll see how we go. Also got told the secret is the incoming tide. We're on the, we're crabbing the outgoing tide. So we'll see how it produces and we'll see how the tins of tuna go. Anyway, get back to town, get Matty. I'm keen, I'm keen. Let's do this. country, eh? Gonna be a trout or something sitting in here. You got him? Yeah. Oh, well, there's something. I just scared something out of there. Damn it, snag. I just scared something from over there. I had a feeling it was one a barra. One a barra. Oh, bullshit. Where's the net? Here, where's the net? Things you gotta do for women, eh? Pressure's on. <laughs> gotta look after them, eh? Gotta look after the girls. So hopefully uh, get Maddie to hook a buck. She hasn't hooked a buck for a while, so we'll, um, we're in the creek now. It was a bit of a rough ride over here. Um, but yeah, how was that squid, eh? How was that squid? Hopefully it, I got it on GoPro, but yeah. Hooked on. If I had a handle on me um, landing that, probably would have got it. But anyway, we're gonna give it a go. See if we can't hook a crab and then go for another bit of a fish. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tune in. There she is. You're done. It was quick. Let's go. All right. Let's get to it. All right, so basically, just cruising along, checking the bank for any holes, watching out for sticks. But yeah, if we see any holes with nice fresh diggings, we'll give it a bit of a go. Stick the hook in there. And uh, yeah, hope for a crab. If uh, that fails, we do have the crab pots to check. So come along for the ride, guys, and uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah, just, just looking for any every, any nice sign of um, mud crab holes with the fresh diggings. See how we go. Oops. Once we get to a nice hole, once we get to a nice hole that we like, I'll um, oh, that oh, one there. There's one. So that's where I got that crab out of last time. 
It's a hard one, this one. All right, let's look in daddy. Right. Let's look in daddy's hole. <laughs> big hole, big hole. I got a good crab out of here last time, but it was hard. It was freaking hard. Right, so it's just in there. It's deep too, doll. Is it? Yeah, real deep. Just the way you like it. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to check this one? Yeah. Oh, oh, that looks like there's one in it. I think I see one in it. Oh. Oh. there last time. Fortunately there's no one home but so what we're looking for I see all this fresh like um soot what do, you, what do you want to call it? Mud. Mud, debris and then I don't know here I'll show you. I don't know if you can really see but it's like little crab feet where he's been like walking in and out and then that's him up in there. So basically that's what we're looking for as you can tell the different colored mud so that's sort of a lighter gray that's dark gray where he's been pulling it out and you can see like he's been pulling all the shell grit and stuff out. Yeah, that's all you're looking for, guys. We'll keep at it. Keep at it, Matty. Nothing. No one. No one home. <coughs> no one home, unfortunately. Oh, so but we'll no keep it going. Hey. No one home. No one home. Did you? My bad. <laughs> Definitely no one home. Yeah, it was a stick. But good hole, nonetheless. It had wings, that one. Off. Yeah, wings. All right, on to the next one. Bit of oil there. There's another one up here, you said. Oh, that's a bit little. All right, she's called it. It's tiny. Very fresh diggings out of it, as you can see. The fresh diggies. They're probably grabbing you now. All right, here we go. Going in. Oh, geez, stabbed myself. Nara? Yaka. Yaka? All right, keep going. So that's all we're doing. That's pretty much it, guys. Just cruising along, checking a few holes. Um, we'll get back to you when we hopefully find one. That'd be nice. Yeah, definitely. All right, we'll keep going. Is that one there? So this is the beauty about having a missus that weighs 40 kilo, you just send her up, she don't sink. I like it. Anything? Jeez, it, so many holes, see the fresh diggings down there? So many holes, but yeah, no cigar. Well, you got fresh diggings coming out of here. I don't know how good that GoPro is picking up. There's a good hole in there. Fresh diggings coming out of where Maddie is. Good hole in there. Just nothing. Nothing at all. All right, we'll keep going. Yeah, it looks like a good one. <sighs> keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I'm holding. All right, so there is one in here, it's friggin' deep. One. 
can hear it. Oh no. He's big. Oh. He's big. No. No, no, no. That's devastating. Very. Don't put your fingers anywhere near that. Look at that. <laughs> you nearly bit me. I'm driving. Spewing, look at that. Oi! He's big. That, my friends, is a big rusty. Look at the size of that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He is huge. Holy donk! Oh, yeah. yeah, buddy! Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You did it. Done it. You did it. We done it. You did it. Look. Look at the size of him. Well done, Daddy Bear. No, well done, Mum. You found him. All right, I'll just hold this up here. All right, let's get some. All right, we'll put him on the ice. Keep going. Come on, under there. Right eye. Watch out, mommy. Watch out, mommy. Duck, duck, duck. You all right? Yeah. All right. Right eye, here we go. Make sure you get your iron and bark. Look at that. Look at the size of him. That's another good one. Here be 190 across the shell. Is that a photo or what? That's a good one. That's a good one. Photo for one and bark. Got a photo. Yeah, mum's got a camera. Ready? Spewing through his biggest nipper. Yeah. What size is it though? Holy it's shit. huge, eh? Right? Whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right, so, hey, steady up. Just so you know, so that's me length of me hook. I don't know, it's probably 1200 something, maybe 1300. Hey, come back here. And I had my whole hand up to here. So look at that distance. That's where I was fighting him, right at the back. Right at the very back. It's crazy. <laughs> but, and it produced. It produced the goods. I'm spewing that it was a, I want to get an easy one for Matty, but. Anyway, we'll chuck him on and keep going. Yeah, he's a strong car. That deserves a beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Definitely deserves a beer, that does. I'm not gonna lie. So. There's a beer in here and a crab as well. Oh, you can throw that back nip in there. Yeah. No, no, there you go. Yeah, have it back. Try and just keep that, keep this here on the cool. He's a nice rusty one. He's a big rusty one, eh? Alright, let's keep going. He's in the coffin. Alright. Keep going. Boy, doll. Yeah. Let's get another one. One more would be nice. One more good one for Maddie. Yeah, I'll just hold this in here. Right, so Maddie has found one. Somewhere. There we go. 
Okay. Alright, she's found him. Yeah, all right. He's tucked around the corner. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's a good one. Sorry. Yeah, there he comes. Oh. Sorry. No, you're right. You just do you. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's a good one. Just come in behind him, yeah. Here he comes. Come on. Oh yeah, that's it. You got him in behind him. Come on. Yep, pull him out. Pull him up behind him. Well done, Matty. Yep, on. you got him. Come on. Walk him out. Come on. Get that yep, no, I, I, in behind his body there, yep. Yeah, that's it. And pull him, just pull. Oh, he's just got a hold of that thing. That's right. Come on. There he is in there. Come Here on. he comes. Well done, Matty. Right, Here he comes, yeah, he's got a hold of that hook now. Come on. There he is. All right, just drop him straight in that net. Yeah, sorry. That's it, drop him straight in the net. Oh, here we go. Here we go, she's in behind him. Oh, we're stepping up. Oh, well done. Well done, you didn't need the net. Yes! Well bloody done. Oh, proud of you, Dolly. Thank you. I haven't actually seen you do that before. There you go, guys. We both witnessed that first. She got in behind him, pulled him out herself. Come on, Bubbles. Coming from out of there. He was tucked right up around the corner. He's a good one, too. Come on. Well done, Matty. Let go. Hang on, hang on. Let go. All right, we'll get back to you. No, it doesn't. She's just questioned whether it's legal or not. All right, so we're just gonna, oi, make sure you get your iron bark products. Don't forget about that. We'll measure him. How is he not legal? Oh yeah, he's legal. He's legal. <laughs> Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. It's a bit small. Get your own bark products. Alright. Alright, just drop him in there. Okay. Come on, mate. I've got to wash you. Hang on. You'll be right. I'll just push this out a bit. There yeah, he goes. There he, goes. there he is. Give him the wash. Well done, buddy. You found that hole, you hooked him out yourself. Start with you. Give him the dip, the rinse. Can you hold that, please? Get that out. Well done. He's a nice little chockey. He's a good little crab. Oh, he's solid too. Been in there a while. So. Guys, in with old big boy in here. There you go, sunshine. Oh, don't fight him. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, <laughs> no. All right. You want to drink a water? I think. No, I'm good. I got my coffee. Right. Well done. Thank you. Two in the coffin. Daddy so needs a beer. Yeah, I need a beer after that. I'm proud of you. Have no fear. Have Dad no has fear. We've got a beer. <laughs> All right. Well, that was really good. That was really good. I'm stoked about that. You've done well. Thank you, Dad. All right. Let's keep going, eh? Double parked. Quick. Bit of hot with a bit of cold. Well done, son. Well done. Thank you. Oh, well done, babe. <laughs> Sorry. I was talking about old mate in here. Oh. <laughs> coming out, coming out to play with us. Yeah. Coming out for a feed. We're feeding on him. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> well, you probably sound like him too. Yeah. <laughs> that bastard. Yeah, <laughs> Put him up. All right, so it's pretty much our. Uh, we're pretty much on the run for looking for uh, holes and cooking, but we've got the five pots I put in this morning to check. So let's see how these tins of tuna are done. We reckon. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we've already got two crabs, we're doing all right. So it's 12 o'clock now, so we got to pick the kids up at two. It's a bit of a rough ride getting here, so we'll quickly check these pots and then see how we go for the rest of the day. Anyway, 
I shall see you there. Go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth for the tuna. First pot. Wow. That we're off to a flying start. <laughs> Four pots to go. So you don't bring the tuna in the boat? Yeah. Hang on. We'll sort him out. We'll get to the next pot. Pot number two. Hopefully we get get one. Just let me know when you got that rope, Dolly. Yo. All right. Here we go. Going backwards, moving backwards. Oh, we're excited. Sounds like we've got something. Oh, wow. Look at the tuna tin. Look at the tuna tin, would ya? What have you done? He's ripped it out of the stocking. <laughs> Look at that tin. <laughs> wow. Yes, you ask you what? Oh, you're going to put him on the floor. Oh, well. Here we go. Whoa, he's a chalky. He's a chalky one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he does have a war wound. There you go. Here you are, I'll sort that out. You want to hold this? Look at that. Trust your old iron bark. Just for good measures. Yeah, he's one trillion. He's That's a good crab, that one. That's my phone. Hey? Okay. So what's that pot number two? Two, pot two. Got three to go. That. That's the old iron bark. Look at that. Damage. Alright, so. Side. Jump him on the ice in there. Jump in there. Good night, Irene. Alright, keep going. Oop. That's it. That is it. So, pot number two. Tuna's not a complete we'll fail. fail. Eh? Tuna's not a complete fail. Tuna is not a complete <laughs> fail, but oi, can we address that tin? Look. <laughs> now, so, just remember. It was, tuna. It was inside of a stocking. Yeah, which tuna was and oil. All right, tuna and oil, look. <laughs> yeah, they love it. Mm. Yo. Right. Oh, shit, hang on, don't worry. Yo, I'm in my... Wang. Wang or yucca, nothing. Seen that crab right there. Right there he was. Alright, two left. So this is the one where the croc was sitting up on the bank. Or the little croc mark, but give him a go. You never know. You never bloody know. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Lucky last one. Lucky last. Are you feeling lucky? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Don't know about this tuna. Yes. <laughs> Feeling lucky. That'll do it. That'll do it, son. <laughs> you. Oh, look at the tuna. Oh, he's, oh, he's pulled the tuna out. No, that's okay. Oh. Oh, well, sort him out. Oh, yeah. he's gonna put me in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a, I can't remember what they call him, but. Flip. 
See him, Mike. Yeah, hang on, leave him. We'll just put him straight in the esky, doll. Then free bit. There we go. G'day, guys. Here, I just flip it upside down here. Or even if you want to hold it. Yeah. You hold the goey. Yeah. Hold the goey. Grab the pot. If you can just hold that back for me. Pop it straight in there. Oh, sugar, mate, you're right. You hit hard. Right, we'll you throw just a few of these down there. <laughs> <laughs> knocked the f out. Oh, sorry. We're recording. You just got knocked out. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's our tagings for the day. Four lovely, juicy, succulent mud crabs. Oh, he let go of his nipper. Look at that, still can't get over that. When tuna isn't over. A few beers later. Mum a nice coffee. She deserves one. You, oh, sorry. No, you're right. Alright. We'll uh, roll out of here. Roll out roll of here. Out. Roll out. Sort our life out near. Yeah. And roll out. Like I'll give you a bit of a look on the way back. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely throw a recipe in with this one. We always do. But yeah, the winds come up, as you can see. Even in the creek. Even in the creek, mate. We're miles up the creek and the winds come up, so. We're f***ed. I mean, we're effed. We're effed. She is going to be a rocky ride home. Oh, yeah, that's water coming Where? Oh, yeah. I don't know where that come from, but anyway. You're up. Let's go. So we've got one, one that doesn't like the smell and one, one that just wants to nail it all. Rip her leg off, she reckons. Can I eat that crab? You like that? Yeah. That's a good one, eh? Anyway, so these are our crabs that we got yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So um, good. So tranquil. We're going to peel the meat out and create a recipe. We have something excellent in mind for you. So all we're going to do is peel the crabs Possibly do fettuccine. Garlic, creamy garlic crab fettuccine. How's that sound? Yeah. Might even throw a, f a bit of sushi in there. Um. What do you reckon? Anyway, yeah, so these are our crabs. We actually um, gave one away. You right? Yes. Dropping your guts? We actually gave one away, but um, yeah, we got three there anyway. That's plenty of meat for us, so we'll hook in. So, uh, yeah, you don't need to see it, but um, wow. we'll clean these and show you the end product. Thank it's you. Healing. Cheers, you know the process. All right, crab shells peeled. Plenty of meat. Like, sayonara. Look at that. Good crab we got as well. A good one. So, yeah, anyway, peeled them all. Um, got all the crab meat, so stick around for the next process, which will be the cook. The cook. The cook. Righto, hang around. Oh. Cool boy. Cool. Nailed it. Look, you know what? The big crocs are? Yeah. The females. Big crocs are females, are they? Yeah. Okay. All right, before the start of the dish tonight, we'll just do a quick one. We've done this before, but I've got the Sushi Queen on board tonight. Such a beautiful queen too. Oh yeah, if I can get one sushi paper. Right. So we're just gonna whip up a quick little crab sushi. We've done it before, like I said, but before we pull out the star of the dish, we've got something special tonight, as I showed you earlier. That's right, that's for later. Anyway, just a quick one. Here we go. Get your paper. It's got to be shiny side down, guys. Shiny side down. Get your sushi rice. If you haven't seen that stuff before, this is it here. There is obviously all different brands, but this is the one we use. Spread your rice nice and thinly. Capsicum. Cucumber. 
little bit of carrot. Carrot. Well done. Then we are going to put a little bit of PK sauce. It's not secret by any means, too, if you're asking. We're now, gonna go have a secret sauce, mate. We are gonna get some crab. Crab. And we are gonna put some crab on that. So that's the fine crab. Look at it. Look at the fat in there. Would you? That's the crab. That's the crab. We're gonna put there some you go. crab in there. And then we are going to roll him up. Roll him up. Right. That's okay. No, I was too busy looking. Not, I was pointing the camera at your sleeve there for a second. I was intrigued too. <laughs> so guys, I don't do this. This is why it's Maddie's job. And we just get a bit of water. And we just seal that off. Like so. There we go. Well done. Yeah, and give it a little roll. Oh. You don't spill that. Don't spill it. Go soggy. Yeah. And then and there you have it. Voila. Crab sushi. So we're gonna whip up a few of these, but that was just um, that was just a quickie. We, like I said, we've done that before. But hang around for the main the main dish of the night. That's right. Creamy crab fettuccine. She's gonna be a good one. Anyway, stick around. We're just gonna roll up a few of these bad boys first. Mm -hmm. Nami? Mm-hmm. Well done. Yeah, perfect. All right, welcome back. It's a couple of days later. Um, what we're doing is a quick fettuccine crab, creamy, creamy garlic crab fettuccine as toppers on our steak, yeah? So all you need is your crab meat, a bit of thickened cream, some garlic, some parsley mixed up. Now this is really basic. Well Gotta do fettuccine, garlic, gotta do your pasta, um, salt and pepper, and then just a bit of butter. Just put yeah, your butter and mix a bit of um, shredded parmesan in it. So hang around while we quickly whip this up and uh, yeah, should turn out a treat. All right, basically we, all we're doing is we're um, just gonna wing this one. So you get your barley, uh, barley, get your butter. <laughs> Are we on? No. Uh, you gotta turn it on first. Uh, yep, turn it on. All right, get your butter. I'll just chunk off, a, chunk off a chunk. All right, get your garlic. Put a good bit in there, because obviously it's, um, garlic crab you know so creamy garlic crab so what you want to do is just fry off the garlic a little bit let that butter melt fry off the garlic a little bit and yeah we'll get back to you there you go so that was two massive big teaspoons of garlic that's a tablespoon is it yeah that's a teaspoon mate. <laughs> that's a teaspoon <laughs> who's the cook in this town <laughs> <laughs> all right and we've got a heap of garlic in there and i just cut off whatever sort of butter so we'll just fry that up a bit. We're smoking here. Put a bit on. You gotta get the smoke in there. I don't know why we're smoking, but anyway, we'll be right. So get that in there. Melt that up and uh, we'll get back to you shortly. All right, so we've got our butter and our garlic nicely fried up. All you wanna do is chuck your thickened cream in. Thickened. Always brand too. Throw that in there like that, like so. So one whole tub, and then give it a good stir. Bring that back to the boil, or bring it back to the simmer. Well, that's looking really good. All right, so these are our steaks. We've got two plain, because the kids and Maddie like plain. I like a bit of Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of garlic on mine, just a bit. <laughs> so basically we'll go throw these on the barbie. I won't take these out because the camera will fog. But yeah, throw these on the barbie and then I'll be back. And then obviously the star of the dish is the crab fettuccine toppers. But anyway, everyone knows how to cook a good steak, I hope. So I'll go throw these on the barbie and I'll meet you back here for the rest of the dish. 
Meanwhile, water's still boiling for the pasta. All right, we're back. So that's pretty much on the simmer now. So what we're gonna do is throw our parsley in. Throw that in there, thank you. Give it a little mix. And then obviously we want a bit of salt and pepper. Don't be shy on the peps. Malaysian. Oh yeah. <laughs> and give her a good stir again. There we go. Now if you want to thicken it up, you put a bit of corn flour in there. But obviously when you sort of throw it in with the pasta and all that, it will um, absorb. But yeah. So we'll just let that go for a little bit longer and we'll get back to you. All right, right. come to a decision of uh, more garlic. It's, We're gonna not, it's not garlicky enough. <laughs> it's not garlicky enough, but you'd be surprised. Like you don't wanna, that's three, mass, that's half a tub of garlic. Yep, that's, that's right. gonna be like. Right, that's, <laughs> We're gonna burn your Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon that'll be good. Wait, can you imagine my morning breath? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you give some PK. <laughs> Oh, oh no way power's out power just went out what the joys the joys are living in gove this is what happens mate power goes out all the time look half a meal here wow our water was like just about to be boiled just about to boil Oh, wow. Wow, you're right, kids. I feel freakishly scared. Oh, Great. So Worst part is this could be out for God knows, Aww. ten minutes up to days. Who knows? Dad. Oh, that pisses me off. You don't like that? What, mate? Oh, I guess Mom, we can still eat our steak. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go and have a look at the steak. Let's see if the camera fogs up. Yeah, <laughs> bear with me. Bear with me, guys. What? We're going out. Hang on, we're going out for a look. Let's have a look. Can I come, Daddy? Yeah. 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 Cheers, mate. God damn it. The joys of living in a little mining town. Currently in the dark. But you know what? Dad. The rum's cold, My that'll do. Oh my god! You? No, no, just a moment. So we've come to a standstill. There you go. <laughs> All right, you wouldn't believe it. The power turned back on. Now it's turned back off again. I just, I we just want to go. The we put all the blinds down. Oh, put the blinds up. Oh, you might as well. It's too dark anyway. You can't see anything. So the power come on. Two minutes later, turn back off. Back to the light. All right. Just. Burned up the gas cooker. Got the kids' dinner going. See if see if the power actually stays on this time. Still got the torch burning. Wow. Oh, I give it two minutes. All right. So we've got our water boiling here, as you can see. Fettuccine um, pasta. Woo! She's hot. And all you want to do, right, is slide it in, crock slide. Uh oh, here's another. There she is. Thank you. And you just want to, it won't take long, basically just want to help break it apart a bit as it cooks, you know. That's it. Look at that. No, I mean, give that five minutes, get back to you. Just quickly, this is reducing down nicely and the pasta has come along beautifully. Don't worry about that, that's a side dish for our steak. Look at that. So the packet says cook it till it's al dente. El dente. If you know what that means, it's delicioso. No, delicioso. <laughs> Holy hell. 
Jesus. Jesus Christ. You were, you meant to flick that. You were trying to burn me then. I've seen it, mate. I've seen it. You've all seen that, didn't you? It was karma. you all seen that? You deserved it, guys. She's trying to rip a friggin' few blisters on my legs. Alright, we'll get back Once to you. It's done, guys. Tell Dente. Turn that bad boy off. Look at that. Pour it in there. Pink mullet for the rabbits. Woo! It is hot. Wow. Oh. You fogged? No. Yeah, you fogged. I've seen it. No. Alright. Your fault. All them rhombos. <laughs> Alright, let's just go dente that. Yep. Alright, here's our sauce. So here's our beautiful crab meat. Just grab our good chunk. Whisker. There you go. Alright. Mix that in. Oh, num 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 num. <coughs> Look at that. Look at that, peoples. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Operator's taken forever. Just wait, just wait, would ya? Next step, palmo. Shredded parmesan. Fold that in there. Don't be shy on the palmo. Have a look. And you just want to mix that in too. Just to give it that real cheese taste. You know? It smells like absolute ass now, but it <laughs> tastes good, I guarantee you. <laughs> Parmesan smells amazing, don't yeah. even say that. Well, I do too, but a lot of people reckon it smells like ass. <laughs> Kids reckon, oh, it's stink cheese. Dad, we're going to put the stink cheese on it? <laughs> yeah. And look at that, guys. Like, seriously, look at that. Who who would not want that? Well, you know what? Look at El, that. El dente. El dente. So we've gone from having no power to whipping this bad boy up. That's right. Look at that shit. LNS, we do it all. God damn it, we even turned the power off just to make it challenging. Nothing can stop us, I'm all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so see it, what we got ya, we'll just make it quick. Here we go, got our pasta in there. Got our sauce here, which, I'm sorry I've already tried it, it is amazing. So, just pour him in there. Like so. Right. And then we'll go for the full mix. See that? And then just mix it in there. And that pasta will split apart then. We're only joking. We know what we're doing. If we didn't know what we're doing, we wouldn't do it. Like serious, look at that. Boy guys, you you really need to give this a go. Like it, it's hard to explain how really good it tastes. It is amazing. Like so you can eat it like that. You can eat it like that as a garlic pasta if you really wanted to, as a Creamy crab garlic sauce mixed through pasta. You could literally eat it like that, like a, cam oh, a carbonara beautiful. or something. Yeah, beautiful. But I'm just using it for a steak topper. So I didn't need all the pasta we cooked. But basically, you got that. Hang in there. Hang in there, guys. Yummy plate. Stick with me, stick with me. Beautiful steak. Steak on the plate. Now, mind you, that may look burnt to some. I like a medium rare steak, so that is medium rare. And then you got your topper. Finish it off with your topper. Just throw it on there, like that. Nice, creamy garlic crab topper. You got your flakes of crab through there. So that's all your flakes of crab, right there. Look at that. Mm. Definitely, um, what do you call it? Not there for the looks. Sorry, hang on.
Nah. <laughs> nah. You're not that fancy. <laughs> no, I'm not that fancy, mate. I'll just hook in. And I'll give you a quick taste test. Get your pitchfork. Get your steak knife. <laughs> Jesus. And there you go. Look at that. Throw him in there. Hang on, buddy. I'll be with you in two seconds. Are they dancing? Yeah. Your mum will be dancing later. Here we go. Look at this. The steak definitely isn't medium rare. No, so. that, that the power went out, mate. That stuffed me up big time. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Look at that steak topper. Mmm. Wash down with a slice of rum. I forgot something. Hang on now, I forgot something. Your palmy. Palms and cheese. Just a little bit on top. Alright, that's it. Oh. Very nailed. Mmm. All right, guys. Thanks very much for hanging in there. Sorry about the power issues. I had to go out there and kickstart the generator. No, joking. They turned it on. But that's it. That's your uh, creamy crab garlic pasta topper on top of your steak. Really appreciate you watching. I hope you really enjoyed the footage of catching the crabs because as much as we caught them, as much as we love catching them, sorry. And uh, yeah. That's it. Threw a little bit of sushi in there and the toppers. So that's the end result. Thank you very much. And uh, please like, subscribe, smash the um, like button or the thumbs up, sorry. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely see you on the next one. LNS, mate, over and out. Thanks for coming. Check that. Check that bad boy out. Look at that. Enough to feed the neighbors. They'll watch this and they'll go, well, where is it? <laughs> well, where is it? Pinkin, it's coming your way. <laughs> mm, I can't get enough of that. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>